that feels or like i would like to know that first actually what's the background of the audience all right if everyone could just uh, quickly on the chat uh, give a brief synopsis of your background so that uh, ravi can have an idea okay so uh, while others uh, keep commenting like let me go ahead mm -hmm. like yeah uh, the first question i asked before joining this meeting was like when i was in made by monic like the what's the background and he said like there'll be all uh, all kind of audience including mm -hmm. the general public but if everyone is here is a wordpress developer <laughs> i yeah. don't know like how much i can share to you but it's anyway nice to meet you all like i think this is the 20th year of uh, wordpress and uh, i'm very really excited to be uh, meeting you all i started my uh, uh, career like uh, career or my interest in open source movements like when i was a student um, during 2005 i was a graduate student uh, studying in singapore and at that time i got introduced to the uh, open source movements and my first uh, introduction was to wikipedia and through that i got in touch with many other movements like uh, ubuntu wordpress uh, and all kinds of uh, Linux distributions, and also with the free software movement in uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, in, in the free software foundation in Tamil Nadu. So I've been on and off in the scene. Uh, my most of my uh, focus has been with uh, Wikipedia. I've been a long time contributor to Wikipedia, uh, especially the Tamil project, and I also work together with the other Indian language uh, Wikipedia projects. Uh, I've been. Uh, uh, very vocal uh, proponent of the uh, philosophy of uh, open source uh, free culture movement. And uh, that is one of the reasons I uh, that led me to the launching of this project. Actually, the credit for the launching of free Tamil ebooks uh, should go to uh, Mr. Srinivasan. Um, I think uh, many of you should be aware of him here already. Like he's a very uh, active participant in the Linux user group in Chennai and also he runs a foundation called Cunningham Foundation now, which is into Tamil computing uh, projects. So the, the beginning of the project goes back to 2013. Actually, it is also a nice moment because this June uh, 2023 is the 10th year anniversary of this project too. Uh, maybe that's one of the reasons uh, this was chosen as a topic. So in 2013, uh, there was no uh, Amazon eBooks, uh, Kindle books in Tamil. Uh, mostly there was a culture of uh, spreading free PDFs, sometimes pirated, sometimes even for the uh, public domain books, just the PDFs were uh, used. So Srini came up with a blog post on uh, just a simple idea, like most of his projects uh, start like that. Uh, he'll say there is a need for this, can someone do this and how to do this. He'll just, uh, if, he, if he blocks 10, 10 such ideas, maybe one will get executed, but he, he's, he tirelessly keeps uh, brainstorming all these ideas. So when I saw that blog post, I was uh, very intrigued. And uh, I first wrote the uh, ebook, like before launching the website, uh, like the first question was like, who will be publishing an ebook? At that time, it was like a very novel thing. Not many have uh, attempted to publish ebooks. I think Google Play books was there, but uh, Tamil, uh, Tamil, it had a lot of challenges like uh, the Unicode fonts and uh, the display and everything. So I had a blog uh, on uh, my thoughts about Tamil and Tamil development. In fact, my uh, Twitter ID is Tamil Ravi. So I'm very passionate about the growth of Tamil language. And I just compiled uh, the, some of the blog posts from my uh, blog about Tamil and then made it into a ether book. And then we uh, launched it as the first book. It was so amateur, uh, amateurish that even it didn't have a title uh, cover, like, like title on the cover. It was just a blank page, uh, as a blank picture as the cover. And I didn't even have a Tamil font as the title. So we just wanted to experiment. And uh, we, uh, like all uh, big projects that evolved later, the beginning was very uh, simple. We just wanted to see if someone is uh, interested in downloading these books and reading. So that's how the first book was published. And uh, Soon uh, there was a community that started to form, like uh, there was very good reception and we were excited about it. I think before getting into the WordPress uh, technical things, like uh, I should give a, a holistic uh, introduction to the project because uh, the, the, the ambition of the project and what it has accomplished is much larger than the technical infrastructure behind it. 
and uh, if you are all uh, gathered here for wordpress it's not just because it's a technology or it, it gives us uh, daily bread but we are also like uh, passionate about the concept of free culture so when we started the free tamil ebooks.com project um, it is the free in the word it's not like free speech i think we all uh, would have said this explanation to someone like uh, it's it's not like free is not like free beer or free bees but it's like about freedom so right from the beginning the book number 1 we had this uh, underlying uh, principles that all the books should be not just free of course but free to uh, share free to uh, at least free to share like uh, it was not like cc0 or cc by sa uh, like wikipedia or any other project where you can freely modify the content because some of the content are creative content like most of the content is creative content like uh, poems or short stories novels and so on so there the authors won't be happy to let someone else modify their uh, creative work but uh, we insisted that at least you should give the freedom to redistribute it if not for commercial use at least uh, non commercial use and non derivatives uh, that should be the case so we don't run into any legal trouble and also we wanted to foster the culture of um, free uh, tamil ebooks in, uh, in 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 our state so uh, uh, i think this is uh, this was challenging at one point but also helped us to pitch this as not just some uh, one of the run of the mill websites but as a project with a mission and a vision and uh, this project uh, growth and the community around it led uh, streamy to register it as a proper uh, ngo uh, it it was named as kaniyam foundation and through it he as uh, he has worked and he and his team of colleagues and other um, supporters of the organization they have undertaken many other uh, projects for tamil computing to develop tamil software and they even won uh, awards from shuttleworth foundation and also from uh, some grants from some canadian university i think 5 to 10 lakhs of amount was given uh, to collect such uh, books and publish in the website so that is the impact it has uh, created i think in the last 10 years around 900 books have been published and all the books are published in uh, three formats epub uh, mobi and uh, pdf and pdf two formats are there one is 6 inch and uh, for 4 inch uh, devices so everyone can read it not only in desktop but also in the mobile uh, platforms so i think with this introduction for the project i will uh, show the actual website for you uh can everyone see my screen uh yes ravi please go ahead okay so yeah okay so if you haven't checked it before this is uh freetamilebooks.com we have published around 900 books i guess like if i check the latest book i can see the book count book book number 852 so we have published 852 and i think a lot of other books are also in the pipeline uh, for a long time and they've been uh, going through various uh, preparation stages so uh, in terms of the back end of the wordpress it is uh, i would start with saying this is the theme that has been there for at least 10 years like we never changed the theme we launched it uh, with a theme called uh, marmor theme i think uh, it is a uh, it is a theme developed by one of the leading wordpress developers at that time if i remember well is from vietnam or philippines and it had a child theme so it also stands testimony to the uh, robustness or the stability of the wordpress platform that a theme developed 10 years back is still running without any glitches or any, without any need for modification it has a parent theme called mummer and child theme called mummer child theme and uh, Uh, this is uh, we hope to change the theme actually i've been discussing with uh, sreeni to have a uh, design uh, redex but he has been insisting let's keep it simple but uh, i think uh, if we've been going to do redesign uh, there will be a lot of changes fix and changes in the wordpress ecosystem which we can bring to have a better design of the uh, website so in terms of uh, theme these are the themes we are using and uh, we are using the custom post types to publish the ebooks so um, we are using the let's look at the plugins so 
so we are using the custom post type uh, plugin and uh, there are two types of custom post types one is uh, ebooks so instead of posts or pages we are publishing them as a uh, custom post type and you can see around 875 is published and if we go inside we can see that uh, the short codes are used for downloading the books uh, these are done using a, a plugin called uh, download monitor so this is uh, the foundation these two plugins are the foundation on which this website runs the download monitor plugin we experimented with a lot of plugins uh, during the launch and this was the one which was uh, fulfilling all our requirements uh, to give downloads uh, so we just remember we just uh, upload the uh, books in the downloads uh, plugin so you can see for each book there are multiple formats uh, mobi if you can read tamil it will be easy mobi a4 pdf 6 inch pdf and once we upload it here uh, we give the short code in the custom post type and that's it i think uh, for the first few years we were just uploading in our website and then we faced bandwidth issues because each uh, download can be in uh, some mbs so then later we switched to uploading uh, books to internet archive and we just hot link from there and it was also helping us for some time so apart from this uh, two basic plugins which runs the website uh, uh, those are like standard uh, plugins you'd see anywhere. Like uh, I wouldn't go much through it. The for backups, you are using Updraft Plus, and it is uh, very uh, very much sufficient. It's a free plugin. Most everything is a free plugin except for one. And Word for security, we are using WordPress Security. Uh, yeah, that's it mostly. Like. Uh, the yet another important plugin we are using is Tenverb Booster. It is a cache plugin and it is a pro service that we are using. Uh, let me show you the uh, Tenverb interface. Here it is. It is a service where uh, you can use uh, Cloudflare, uh, Cloudflare CDN at an enterprise level. Uh, they are a very good service and uh, they, uh, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but for the price they provide, they're providing a very good service. And we are using their uh, cash services. So you can have a look at what we're doing. And they also like optimize the website like uh, automatically. It's like you might have come across many caching plugins and they all give performance improvement. So before using this plugin, you can see that we have a mobile score of 61 and desktop score of 82. And automatically after using this plugin, the mobile score and desktop score has been improved. So they not only just give the CDN services, but also uh, uh, they do these performance optimizations. So there are multiple levels of optimizations where you can see that standard techniques haven't been applied. Uh, they have a free trial. So if you are interested, uh, you can uh, go through it. Until a month ago, like we were having our website in the, like posted in a server based in the US, but most of our audience are coming from India and various parts of the world. So recently we have moved our server to a digital ocean uh, cloud server, and we are using this CDN enterprise level CDN uh, from Cloudflare. And that has given us a performance boost. You can see the performance boost is like 62%. Are you able to see the tenor interface that I'm showing? Uh, yes, we can. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just let me know if, if you cannot see what I'm uh, sharing. Okay. So in this, if we can look at the uh, impact of the cloud per CDN. So I think this is from the beginning of this month. Um, within just three, four days, so many GBs have been transferred. And you can see for every 100 GB, it means like 50K visitors. So that shows the level of uh, patronage the website is receiving almost like uh, 3,000 to 4,000 visitors a day. And uh, yeah, you can see the CDN full page cache uh, uh, 
uh, dd overs board protection and everything like uh, this is a very good service i will uh, recommend uh, you all to use it and the other kind of optimization uh, optimization we have done is like image optimization and uh, pages also have been like uh, cached yeah that, that's that's all about the uh, 10 web interface and we have uh, used the cloudflare for the uh, dns services because it's fast and effective and is also free uh, if you look at the gt metrics performance you can see that uh, depending upon the place like we are able to see the difference like for chennai uh, we are getting a 96% performance and 93% structure everything is green so that is a level of optimization we have done to give a, a better experience for both uh, mobile and desktop users and in terms of the search engine uh, optimization performance you can see that uh, when we search for tamil ebooks we are actually uh, coming up uh, on top of are you able to see the search results yes we are no? able to see it yeah. yes okay okay so uh, this is to come uh, on top of uh, amazon is uh, not a uh, no, we are still uh, seeing gt so. metrics i guess okay okay then i also uh, uh, google search so you can see that for the very competitive keyword tamil ebooks we are uh, coming on top of amazon although they have a very uh, huge uh, ecosystem for kindle uh, tamil ebooks so if in terms of seo we have not done anything specific uh, or like like link building or anything zero efforts but i think based on the uh, quality of the project the age of the project and the uh, patronage of the audience uh, it is automatically ranking above and i think that is the best way to do an organic seo campaign so what else i should cover yeah i think for for the people uh, the kind of audience i have today i think this is more than enough to uh, let you know like how the website is working if it is in a general audience we can uh, go in some demonstration and uh, make them understand but let me know if you have any questions uh does anyone have questions for ravi Uh, hi, Ravi. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, good to talk to you after a long time. So uh, I just realized, actually, I, um, I mean, I just realized the stability aspect that you mentioned, even mm -hmm. for after 10 years, it's like uh, not just the theme and the site is uh, working fine. And I can, uh, I often go and download some books when I want to read uh, uh, the site, even now. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, my question is like, is there any uh, WordPress versions? I mean, uh, maybe 2013 at that time, it, it would be WordPress. Uh, I don't know the exact number, maybe version four or five at mm -hmm. that time. Now it's 6.2. Is there any uh, core uh, version releases or anything else that if you had any uh, like critical errors, fatal errors or anything in this journey for 10 years uh, in this maintaining this site uh, or uh, so far none? And just to know, and also, for example, if a new version is released, currently it's 6.2.2 or something. So mm -hmm. if a new version is released, how often you, you go and update the, the core and also the plugins? Or you wait for, uh, let's say, one or two weeks before you update the stuff or uh, you enable the auto updates and how it works? Thanks. Okay. So uh, I would say that we had never had issues with WordPress, actually. Like it was always smooth and we always automatically upgrade uh, both the plugins and the themes and also the core and uh, it has worked seamlessly that's the beauty of wordpress uh, that has, uh, it has been so well tested it doesn't cause an issue and we also have backups so we do not worry much about uh, crashing the site or like it's not like some corporate website where we freak out about downtime and everything so sometimes it has gone down because of hosting issues, uh, some security issues, uh, but uh, we have had good support from the web host. Like previously we, was with a, we were with a host called Remcom and they have uh, given very good support. So even now most of the updates are like automatically enabled. 
uh, we do not have a staging uh, site or uh, we do not clone like uh, it's mostly running in autopilot cool thanks yeah great great oh nice I think uh, Aravi, it's a really great to know that you know the site is uh, self-supporting and you know pretty much running on uh, autopilot. Uh, that mm -hmm. is uh, really really interesting to hear from a website of this larger scale. I I, I was really of the impression that you might probably have a staging environment, something like a more uh, you know streamlined kind of a thing. Great. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I I do have a question. Uh, so uh, before this event, right, I was just uh, going through the site, uh, the, the just trying to go into the code of the site and noted that the site is uh, run on uh, the English language, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Like uh, um, I was just uh, wondering, like, do you have any plans to shift the language the uh, to the uh, you know Tamil language? You know, since you seem to be proponent of Tamil and all that. The back end. Yeah, I just wanted to hear your views on that. No, actually, I was one of the uh, initial batch of translators for WordPress translation too. So okay. after some time, like, but I, I would, I would say, like, I've never used the interface in Tamil in any of my website, not just this one. Uh, uh, some of the other projects, like Wikipedia, like we always use uh, the Tamil interface because from day one we are used to seeing that and it becomes natural. But yeah. uh, when WordPress, you work with many other websites with English, then it is, uh, it's not like a big team is behind this. It's basically me, Srini, and maybe a couple of other administrators like uh, Lenny are there. So we, we did not have any plans or like uh, to switch. I think it, it is not a big thing to switch to Tamil, but we can try, like if you're a, a translator for Tamil, like we would try it and we can also give feedback and we can also uh, try to contribute for Tamil translation. Yes, yes, definitely. So basically, I, because it's not public facing. If it's public facing, we would have definitely kept it Tamil. But it's just for internal use, like we, we are okay with the English version. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so just, just to update, I think we are uh, close to 65% uh, Tamil translation ready right now. And uh, mm -hmm. we do have a really good team that is uh, continuously, a volunteer team basically, that is continuously trying to support and uh, trying to push out the Tamil uh, package actually. Great. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Ravi, one more question regarding the uh, backups. Uh, mm -hmm. So you mentioned you, uh, you, the backups gives you like a peace of mind or just like it's on, right, running on autopilot and you have backups backups for everything. Uh, so, yeah. uh, and I see the files are stored in like archive, internet archive or mm -hmm. some other place, right? So you don't mm -hmm. usually take a backup of the PDF or any other the books, but you will be taking backup of the database or like uh, yeah, any yeah. other, the whole site or just the database itself. I think since it is WordPress, we don't, you might be taking just the uh, database. No, we, we are taking full backups. We are taking full backups, uh, periodic okay, okay. backups. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I wonder yeah. the size. First piece of or... mind. We have enough space in Google <laughs> Drive, so okay. why not take a full backup? <laughs> Okay, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Because I thought it's like uh, the size may be a bit incremental, it's, like every day, or uh, I don't know how how frequent. Actually, it is. the uh, yeah, actually the the plugin comes with a uh, with a pro version where you can have uh, only the incremental changes stored. We have not opted mm -hmm. for that, but since we have a lot of space and it, the server it's going to run, so it's in the running. Okay, the okay, end, so makes sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 So as of now, uh, it is mostly free, right? You are not charging for anything, and it, there is. Is there any plans to monetize, or it's maybe it's already there? No, I no, mean, no, no, no. Monetizing uh, means the, not. No, it uh, is in the name of the website, freetamilibooks.com. It will be always free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, not for charging for publishing a download. I'm saying, like, for yeah. example, maybe uh, promoting something uh, like uh, maybe. Uh, a sidebar banner or something that promotes something else, or like another free uh, no actually like this maybe. project is run by the kanyam foundation now so if you would like okay, to support okay. the project like we welcome donations for the kanyam foundation it is there okay. in the sidebar of the project also you can and feel free to donate anything you would like to. and it will always okay. go to the proceeds uh, for it. no if not for this project any other tamil computing project it will go so you can support that way but we are not actively seeking donations with the individuals like 
uh, only with some uh, institutional donors we approach like the government of tamil nadu or uh, some libraries abroad so uh, it will be never charge it will be always free uh, that's the whole point yeah yeah the other way you can support is that to uh, spread the mission of this project uh, if you know some authors you can encourage them to uh, publish books here because uh, in the recent days we have seen a decline in the interest to publish here because of the amazon has come up uh, with a very good uh, kindle publishing system so most of the indie authors are going there it's not like they are earning a lot there uh, the, the tragedy is that they think they don't want to give things for free and they publish in kindle they neither get money they neither get uh, visits there like uh, if you are going to take a, a lot of effort to write a book or a novel you will be at least happy if some people read it so if you just going to charge 100 uh, rupees and if only two people download it what's the point so i think uh, we need some kind of awareness uh, spreading there encouraging uh, the authors uh, to publish it first uh, and let people read it i think as a writer myself my joy comes from a lot of people reading it and appreciating it or even criticizing it uh, the biggest tragedy for any creator is no one reading it first of all so uh, the uh, tamil uh, commercial ebook space is not that matured uh, and the kind of books that are getting read are also like only at, uh, some genres of books are getting paid uh, downloads so if someone doesn't care about earning money or a lot of money through publishing ebooks and they just want to share their knowledge or share their creative work with others uh, publishing through this website is the best way forward and we look forward to get many authors and also like volunteers we need our volunteers to uh, uh, design the ebook design the covers publish it on the website that takes a lot of effort uh, the technical thing is like just one time effort but running the project needs a lot of effort hi hi ravi yeah so um, i would like to if uh... if you are okay would you love to share the traffic details and the server configuration because uh, recently I, uh, last week i ran through a issue when for a client mm-hmm. side so the traffic mm-hmm. got uh, massive increase in the traffic so mm-hmm. the server got like under percent cpu usage so i had to mm-hmm. do like some optimization like disabling the default wp kernel which gets called okay. every time the visitor comes or there is any update to the post so on okay. the heartbeat uh, change the heartbeat uh, those things so um, those kind of so optimization i was then the server usage drop so i would like to okay let me share my screen yeah. huh? okay so can you see the digital ocean screen yeah yeah okay so this is the server we are using and it it runs many more projects not just this like uh, at least 10 more websites are hosted in the same server and it is working good like and the cost is like for four days it has come to like four four dollars so it's not much actually and uh, m- most of the load is now uh, borne by the cloudflare uh, enterprise uh, cdn enterprise uh, so that also helps to manage the load okay is this, is this enough or you want more details yeah yeah this is enough what is what is the like uh, cost of maintaining everything including the cloud fair to run uh, to maintain a project like this so uh, we actually uh, it was only in the last one or two months we have made the server migration to this uh, this cloud uh, what do you say digital ocean and then the ten web everything is done only in the last two months so for almost 10 years it had no major cost and it was running very fine uh we had been paying uh, some 24 dollars per month as the uh, hosting cost and in that 24 dollars we have been hosting like 10 to 20 websites not just this one so uh, i think it it all comes about uh, choosing the right host uh, who uh, who can support you so if you if your audience is in um, the us like i will sub, uh, recommend this host they have been our host for 10 years with no issues and excellent support and very cost effective solution uh, if you want to some uh, some uh, some environment that scales like digital ocean is good yeah okay so like uh, i am been using like cloud base i i'm using digital oceans also 
but for mm-hmm. uh, backup solution here yeah, we have to manually manage everything right so so okay. i do for some client projects i'm using cloud base where they provide some backup solutions and mm-hmm. other support that is managed uh, vps so okay so that is what okay, okay thank you for the information yeah yeah even the current configuration we have for uh, uh, distribution is much higher like it would run even in a lower configuration so you can experiment with that what is the traffic because we had uh, like our own like concurrent user traffic was high on uh, my client side so i we had like mm-hmm. around like uh, 70 concurrent users so i had to scale okay. up the server so what, what is the okay. Uh, and unfortunately, the Google Analytics has a glitch uh, right now, so I, I can't uh, fetch the traffic details. But from the Cloudflare uh, CDN Enterprise, like you can see that uh, it has a good number of users, like uh, three thousand to four thousand users every day. But the concurrent users, we may not have that much. So um, I think uh, we'll get in. Uh, you can also ping me privately uh, after the event, so we can stay in touch and see like how we can solve the issue. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ravi, I think uh, Akshaya had a question, but it, it has disappeared from chat. I'm not sure if she wants to retract her question, but Akshaya, if you still want to ask the question, please go ahead. Uh, hi, I just wanted to ask uh, what is the WordPress theme uh, that you recommend from the performance point of view in general? Yeah, performance point of view, I've been using Genesis theme for a very long time. It has it has served my purpose very uh, well in the past, but now, right now I'm uh, leaning towards any uh, popular theme in the WordPress uh, directory. So I'm kind of averse to some of the uh, pro themes because uh, they come up with a very uh, costly plans and then they disappear after some time. So anything that is popular in the uh, WordPress theme directory, I would recommend it because it's like well tested and millions of users are using it. So that would be a good bet. And most of my client projects, we are doing it with the Hello theme and uh, Elementor Pro plugin. And we are also using uh, Astra uh, whenever there's a requirement. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Is there anyone else with any other questions? Uh, I have one question, but it's not related to WordPress. Or, or but uh, uh, Ravi, uh, you mentioned like the authors in the readers, right? They read a specific yeah. type of genre for like books and stuff. And also, you mm-hmm. mentioned you encourage authors to try and publish, and so you you get some um, like, reviews or uh, like the uh, comments or whatever from the audience right so when they read Mm -hmm. so what is the popular one what are the some few popular stuff that's being read and what uh, are like something is there anything else that you recommend on that i mean like so now we are talking about tamil but maybe it could be a a stuff for anything else right even for blogging or we can apply your tips or advice to in any any language and anything right because if some a lot of people might be just scared or afraid yeah. to start with and yeah this just to yeah if you look opinion. at the uh, kindle top sellers both for tamil uh, and for all indian languages including english uh, clearly there is a big readership for uh, pulp fiction uh, time post novels uh, family novels kind of thing and uh, uh, i wouldn't <laughs> it might be a judgmental remark but i i wouldn't say it's very difficult for to write such novels if if someone is looking at a career in writing and they just want to make some uh, money out of it, that is the best genre. And there are thousands of uh, people, especially women, who read such novels. So in terms of making money, that is the best thing one could write. Even in English, we see such novels uh, coming up. Uh, or the second thing I would uh, recommend is that not just by writing novels, all the time but you can participate in the uh, contest that's being organized by amazon every year until last year they were giving uh, five lakh rupees uh, as the first prize in tamil uh, english and hindi and a couple of my friends have won it actually two of my friends have won the five lakh uh, rupees prize 
uh, i uh, participated in a short category and i got a third prize with some 10000 rupees so uh, that prize amount is much more uh, than the royalty you would get actually from uh, selling books in kindle if, if you are selling books in some vague categories or like niche categories Uh, you wouldn't make much money, but uh, you can publish it for other reasons to establish your authority, uh, to network, all those kind of things. So sometimes if we give free downloads, a thousand people will download any book. But to sell ten to fifteen copies is really, really hard. And uh, during those contests, we have uh, tried uh, digital marketing, advertising in Facebook and everything to push the copies. Yeah. So right. pulp fiction is the choice. Pulp fiction is the choice, and if you look at the English genres like uh, self-help books, management books, business writing uh, sells, but in Tamil it's all about pulp fiction. Even the hardcore literary writers books in Tamil uh, they don't sell much actually. Uh, only the pulp fiction sells. So uh, oh, AI is everywhere. We cannot skip. uh ai from this conversation so uh what do you, do you think on like uh, the use or leveraging the power of ai when it comes to publishing or maintaining the site and everything in general like what's your like like let's say within another one year uh, maybe three years five years or 10 years down the line or uh, what you see what are your because you are a strong proponent of open source and uh, i also you are vocal about the uh dravidian or like political views as well i mean it's not we are making it as a political agenda or anything but uh we are saying about like you are involved in with public not just uh, a professional who's uh, offering services you are also involved with uh, public in uh, in the real time in whether it is open source or on other areas as well so uh, ai in general and ai with respect to like publishing purpose and everything just a thought randomly came up <laughs> if you like to answer right? yeah i am uh, who asked this question lex yeah it's Did me yeah lex okay okay i'm really glad you asked this question because i think every every second ever i am thinking ai yes, and working on something ai related and uh, whichever conference i attend all the speakers uh, the second word is ai they keep say so there are even memes that uh, Told that uh, count how many times the speaker has told AI in his speech. So this is a new reality. And uh, before I go to answer this question, I actually wanted to answer the previous question uh, about the uh, books that have the reception. So in terms of free Tamil e-books, I would like to show what is getting read and what is getting downloaded most. Uh, are you able to see my screen, uh, free Tamil e-book screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see the top downloads. The first book is about A. R. Rahman's biography. <laughs> so it has got some three lakh eighty five thousand downloads, and uh, the second book is Sita N. M. Uh, it I, I'm not sure about the content. It if it's uh, about the epic uh, Ramayana or like it's a modern take on it, but I I think it has something about religious uh, context. The third one is Veda Mum Saiva Mum. It is about the Vedas and the Saiva. religion fourth book is about mahakavi bharathiyar varlara it is a, a biography on a famous tamil poet and the fifth one is ponin selvan surukapatta padipu it is a famous novel an abridged version of the famous novel in tamil and the next one is patinathaarin padalgal it is a poem compilation from a famous poet who lived in the 18th century i guess so the next is osho velipunarvu kadhaigal it's like uh, some short stories moral stories from osho the eighth book is about moolige valam it is a book on herbal uh, medicine for home use or something like that and ninth is also a religious book and tenth is again a osho's book so you can see there this is the kind of popular interest even when you give books for free so anything that is already popular like the religion or the celebrities uh, they get a instant uh, reception uh if you are a first time author and if you are writing on a novel or poem like uh, you have to do a lot of marketing within your network like it doesn't get automatically uh, downloaded just because it's free okay so uh this question uh, is answered now i'll come to next question so i actually wanted to show one thing and the the reason i went with tenver uh, is not just for the 
CDN it is giving, but it has a uh, unique feature. I'll show you where you can recreate any website using AI as a WordPress uh, theme. So 10 websites, look, I can create. Are you seeing the 10 web interface now? Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, so, uh, so I would like to give a demo of the uh, AI feature this one is having. Like most of us would have seen some kind of AI plugin for WordPress where it is for content generation where within the plugin or within the website, you can give a keyword or something like, just like chat GPT, you can use it. Uh, I think the, that is kind of a very, uh, not a unique solution. Like anyone is coming with a solution, whether it is Elementor or any other plugin, it is very easy to create such plugins. And I don't see any value in that actually, because it's enough to get the chat GPT user account or chat GPT pro account and you can just copy paste. So it's not worth, paying for something uh, just within a website to generate content, but something uh, which I found very unique and valuable is uh, AI based theme creation. So I would like to give a demo for that. So let's say uh, WP Tamil Nadu. And we can also choose the location here. Uh, Okay, it should have uh, India, somehow it's not there. Let's go with Germany. It's worth waiting, so please give me a few minutes. So, Okay, let's start. And this is has something called a AI builder. And you can add a page. So you can uh, recreate a page. So you can give any uh, website. So for just for the sake of testing, I am taking this Dell homepage. You can uh, give any homepage. Uh, any page on the on, uh, on the website. It doesn't need to be a WordPress website. It can be any website or any design. If you give it recreate, uh, it will recreate uh, in WordPress. So it is using a custom plugin uh, given by Tenweb itself. It's not available for sale or outside the uh, uh, Tenweb. So if you need this service, you have to buy the hosting and then uh, get it. So it can uh, reduce the development time uh, in a huge scale, especially if you have the design in a HTML format or like the client just wants to recreate another website's design. 
um, this can be a huge time saver and also like uh, you can also use it for learning like especially if you're creating a, most of your websites in Elementor. Uh, I personally use it for learning actually like what kind of uh, blocks I should use like what kind of settings I should use it, it does get around 90% uh, accuracy in recreating a page and the remaining work we have to get it done. Okay, let's view it. Right. So hope you can see the recreation being done. It's taken all the, uh, the same thing. It has taken the columns, blocks, everything. And it has recreated here. Like the first time I saw it, it was like magic for me. And I think uh, this is the right way to implement uh, AI uh, in web development. And uh, we can make use of it. If you've been already working with Elementor a lot, and I hope uh, many of you might be doing it. Uh, this is one good use of AI I've seen. And it can uh, both help us in our learning and also uh, reducing the development time and uh, bringing customer satisfaction. So uh, answering uh, Axman's questions about the role of AI, uh, I think uh, even when I go through the tweets or uh, articles, there is a lot of anxiety and dilemma. And I would say like even I have that dilemma, like we are running a design a web design agency and uh, already there is a lot of competition in the market, both in terms of freelancers, uh, full-time developers and other agencies in India. And add to that, like most of the customers are also going to services like uh, Vix.com, or even wordpress.com, uh, uh, there is not much left for the uh, uh, full-time developer who is going to work with small and medium enterprises. So some analogy, sometimes I tell my friends the analogy, like once we had STD uh, boots in Tamil Nadu, which was a major business and they disappeared and then the internet cafes came and they disappeared. So the same way uh, we, we are in a crucial situation where we have to rethink uh, our profession and uh, adapt ourselves and upgrade ourselves. It's not just about WordPress. Any developer is feeling that pinch when ChatGPT can uh, spit all the code and uh, they are training ChatGPT on software development too. So the future versions of uh, the AI will be really scary. And at the same time, uh, the people who are developing this AI are also conscious of this risk. And uh, just a couple of days back, there was a letter signed by all the leading uh, thinkers in this field who worry about AI safety and the role of AI in job creation and elimination. So that is uh, something that's happening at a meta level and that is beyond our control. So we cannot guess uh, how it goes, but I think the right approach to see AI is to have a positive mindset and see how we can use these tools for uh, our own productivity increase and learning and also to come up with new kind of products like uh, instead of just thinking ourselves as a custom developer for one agency or one client. We also think uh, need to think like an entrepreneur and come up with products ourselves uh, which uh, leverage the AI uh, growth. So it can be some kind of AI services for like every day, there are like hundreds of services getting released in terms of uh, AI tools. So I think like if we can wear a, a entrepreneurial hat, uh, we have a lot of hope, but if you are just stuck uh, in the mindset of a professional who is going to do a day job and looking for a salary or just a career progression, uh, we will be in trouble. So I think we need a mindset change and also uh, upgrade our skills and the game we play, then we will be in a better position. That's my view. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ravi. It was quite an informative session, I have to say.
Thank you. Hope you found it useful. Yeah. Right. Uh, so we are on on dot about to hit 5 p.m. Uh, and being mindful of time of everyone that's taken the time out to join us today. I would say if there's any follow up questions or any feedback or reviews for this session, kindly drop that via the comment section on our meetup page for this event. Uh, also, if any of you uh, would like to join us on our Slack community at WordPress Chennai, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, I, if Harish, can, if you can drop the link here for anyone interested to sign up right after this, that would be great. And yeah, if you've got any suggestions for future topics that we should focus on, uh, feel free to reach out via our Slack and let us know. If you'd like to join the organizing team, uh, let us know and uh, we'll catch everyone in the next one. Yeah, thank you, Vanita, Harish and uh, Manik who invited me. Uh, I'm really happy to see such a community around WordPress in Tamil Nadu and I hope I will also join the Slack channel and attend the future sessions. <laughs> Yeah. It would be it an honor. Be good, uh, <laughs> not just an honor, like I can be a learner too. <laughs> so I no, like for to... sure, for sure. It's like learning is always two ways, but uh, it's yeah, always yeah, good yeah. to have some, uh, you know, esteemed people who have a lot of experience in this front uh, has been connected with the open source movement for a long time. So, you know, there's definitely learning on both sides. So yes, thank you, will... thank you all. Yeah, yeah. see you. Looking forward to seeing you on Slack then, Ravi. Go ahead, Harish. Yeah, sir. yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot, Ravi.